The robot creations at Boston Dynamics are by far some of the most impressive examples of engineering we have ever seen. The dog-like spot, the humanoid, Atlas, and the box-juggling handle are dynamic advancements and leading the pack of robotic technology. But anyone who has ever read a sci-fi novel or seen any dystopian future movie knows it's only a matter of time before we're all bowing before these robotic overlords. But is that a real possibility? And if it's on the table, are these Boston Dynamics robots the harbingers of that nightmarish future? In today's video, we're taking a look at the Boston Dynamics robots and if they're poised to one day take over the world. A brief history of Boston Dynamics. Before we decide if Boston Dynamics robots are going to take over the world, let's explore the history of this company and these robots. After all, in order to know where you're going, you have to know where you've been. Boston Dynamics was founded by Professor Mark Raybert in 1992. Prior to founding Boston Dynamics, Raybert earned a degree in electrical engineering and completed his Ph.D. at MIT in 1977. He went on to work for NASA in their Jet Propulsion Laboratory. In the 1980s, Raybert moved into academia and began teaching at Carnegie Mellon in the Computer Science and Robotics Department. He then moved to MIT as a professor of electrical engineering and computer science. While at MIT, Raybert founded the Leg Lab, a research lab fully dedicated to highly dynamic legged robots. Finally, in 1992, Boston Dynamics was born out of Raybert's Leg Lab. Since then, Boston Dynamics has climbed to the apex of robotic engineering. Raybert believed that robots needed highly dynamic legs to really be effective. Wheels and treads are great but only if you're operating on ideal, flat surfaces. To be really versatile and effective, the robots needed to be able to traverse terrain just like humans and other animals. Their first major project that caught the public's attention was coined Big Dog. Big Dog was a sort of robotic pack mule created for the United States military through a partnership with the Defense Advanced Research Project Agency, or DARPA for short. The partnership with the American military didn't help the company's public image as human fears of future robotic takeovers continued to fester. DARPA eventually scrapped the big dog, citing the machine was too noisy for active military operations. Boston Dynamics continued to work with DARPA and the Pentagon on largely military projects, including a reinvention of naval training substituting videos for 3D interactive computer simulations. The company continued to operate largely on grants and military contracts until it was acquired by Google parent company Alphabet in 2013. Immediately following the Alphabet acquisition, they were lumped together with other robotics companies that Alphabet had merged into Replicant. This particular division of Alphabet was riddled with problems over the next few years, and it quickly became evident that Boston Dynamics was not a good fit for whatever it was Google was seeking to accomplish. Boston Dynamics was then sold to the Japanese tech company SoftBank in June of 2017 for an undisclosed amount of money. Both Alphabet and SoftBank seemed very pleased with the arrangement. Masayoshi Son, chairman and CEO of SoftBank Group Corp, said, Smart robotics is going to be a key driver of the next stage of the information revolution, and Mark and his team at Boston Dynamics are the clear technology leaders in advanced dynamic robotics. CEO and founder of Boston Dynamics, Mark Raber, also seemed elated at the acquisition, stating, We at Boston Dynamics are excited to be part of SoftBank's bold vision and its position in creating the next technology revolution, and we share SoftBank's belief that advances in technology should be for the benefit of humanity. Then, in December of 2020, Boston Dynamics confirmed rumors that South Korean tech and auto giant Hyundai would be acquiring the company for $1.1 billion. Prevailing theories indicate that Hyundai would be instrumental in scaling production of the company's robotics and helping bring their products to a wider commercial and industrial market at a more affordable price tag. So, now that we have a stronger understanding of the company's storied history, it's time to look to the future. 
Is it a future where man and machine live side by side, working together to accomplish previously unimaginable goals? Or is it a future where humanity is a plague that the superior robot overlords see fit to exterminate? What is the future of Boston Dynamics robots? Boston Dynamics has spent the majority of its life without actually selling a product. That has recently changed, and the company has finally started selling its spot robot for commercial and industrial uses. This quadrupedal dog-like robot sells for $74,500, and the company has currently sold more than 400 units in the first 15 months of sales. Major applications of SPOT have been seen in industrial and commercial spaces such as oil rigs and electrical engineering projects. Boston Dynamics has nearly doubled its employee base to ramp up sales, marketing, and application of SPOT, trying to make it clear just what industries could benefit from this robot. Broadly speaking, the company is seeking to introduce the robot in situations that it would otherwise be dangerous for a human to be in. Spot is not available for individual consumer purchases, and Boston Dynamics has a thorough sales process where they ensure the purchaser is using the robot in a legal and safe manner. An explicit part of the sales agreement does mention that the robot cannot be used to harm or intimidate people or animals or be used as a weapon or configured to hold a weapon. So it seems the company is aware of some of the fears and is actively working to mitigate them. However, in 2020, the ACLU raised concerns after a video of a spot robot being used by the NYPD in police training drills. In October of 2020, a spot was sighted at a crime scene in Brooklyn, and when Boston Dynamics' new CEO, Robert Plater, was asked about the incident, he confirmed that the NYPD is among Boston Dynamics' customers, and said they have a spot and were using it. I think to maintain a safe standoff distance when somebody was barricading themselves. So I think getting a camera in and potentially communicating, de-escalating a potentially dangerous situation was the goal there. Plater went on to note that enhancing human safety by replacing humans with robots in potentially dangerous situations is among the many goals of Boston Dynamics, and as such, he believes that police departments could make strong use of these robots. It isn't hard to draw conclusions from law enforcement to an eventual robot takeover. So, is that really on the table? So, will these robots take over the world? As of now, the only Boston Dynamics legged robot available for purchase is Spot, the much more unnerving humanoid Atlas, which you may have seen in any number of astounding videos dancing and backflipping, is strictly an internal research and development project. Boston Dynamics officially ended military contracts after its acquisition by Alphabet in 2013 and hasn't engaged in any DARPA projects since. While it's hard to imagine the little robot dog Spot taking over the world, it's not hard to imagine Atlas conquering the human race. It's hard not to talk about artificial intelligence when you talk about robots. According to Boston Dynamics, their robots use what they call athletic intelligence. It's a form of AI that allows their robots to walk, climb stairs, avoid obstacles, traverse difficult terrain, and autonomously follow preset routes with little or no input from users. So yes, the robots are built with some AI on board, but not exactly the deep machine learning stuff we fear from Google, Amazon, Apple, and the like. Regarding Boston Dynamics' involvement in the future of mass surveillance or a global police state, the team has a strict code of ethical use regarding their robots. The company will not authorize nor partner with those who wish to use their robots to violate privacy and civil rights. Likewise, the company refuses to partner with anyone who wishes to weaponize their robots in any way. While this hardline stance against the misuse of their robots is reassuring, you can't help but imagine a future where someone finds a way around that. All that being said, it doesn't seem that Boston Dynamics has any malicious ambition of intent. They are truly interested in making the world a better place for everyone. A world where humans and machines work together to achieve the unimaginable goals of society. Maybe they'll succeed in creating a world where we all have to work a little less and can enjoy the world a little more. 
But on the flip side, there is a darker version of that future where we all pledge allegiance to the mighty Atlas. It seems pretty unlikely and extremely improbable given the company's commitment to a better future, but we wouldn't go so far as to call it impossible. What do you think? Will we see a world where routine tasks are largely completed by robots and we humans can devote more time to ourselves and families? Or will we all be crumbling under the thumb of a brutal robotic regime? Let us know in the comments below what you think about these impressive, leggy robots coming out of Boston Dynamics.